At the Friends of Cancer Research 2022 annual meeting, one of our topics for discussion will be accelerating investigation of new therapies in the earlier metastatic treatment setting. A discussion about FDA's Oncology Center of Excellence Project Frontrunner. Feel free to follow along with the conversation on Twitter using hashtag FriendsAM2022 on our November 17th meeting. Advances in cancer research have translated into novel and highly effective therapies for patients. This has been largely for patients, though, with metastatic disease. Patients with metastatic disease can be categorized as either patients in the early treatment or later treatment setting. Patients in the earlier treatment setting tend to be newly diagnosed with metastatic disease and have only had received a few therapies uh, for their cancer or have not yet received any therapy to treat their cancer. They may have more treatment options available that are standard of care for patients with early metastatic disease, and they tend to have a better prognosis. This is compared to patients in the later treatment setting who have received multiple lines of therapy for their disease. They may have a disease that is relapsed or refractory to treatment, and they may have exhausted all available treatment options. These patients tend to have a worse prognosis than patients in the earlier treatment setting. And it's traditionally, therapies have been first studied in patients in this later metastatic treatment setting. This may be due to the clear unmet medical need for these patients, as well as since their prognosis tends to be worse, clinical trials investigating new therapies tend to be shorter in these patients to reach clinical outcomes, which provides a way for drug developers to gain early approval through the accelerated approval pathway. As treatments in the earlier treatment setting, clinical trials tend to be longer to reach these clinical outcomes like overall survival. And while it's absolutely important to continue to develop new therapies for these patients in the later treatment setting, it's also important to explore new treatment options for patients in the earlier treatment setting who have not received multiple treatments for drugs and may also benefit from new investigational therapies. Therefore, there is a need to accelerate research in this space and to address the patient need in the earlier treatment setting as well. There may be a larger patient population in this earlier setting than only targeting relapsed or refractory patients, meaning there's potential benefit for a larger number of patients. Investigating in this setting can provide earlier access to new therapies as well as provide more effective, less toxic alternatives to therapies currently used to ensure that the most beneficial treatments are being provided upfront. Lastly, we're able to then compare investigational therapies to established and approved therapies to better understand the best treatment available for patients, where the clinical benefit might be more readily apparent than when studying therapies in patients who have received prior treatments. To meet this need and encourage investigation in the earlier metastatic treatment setting, FDA Oncology Center of Excellence has introduced an initiative, Project Frontrunner. This is to encourage drug sponsors to consider when it may be appropriate to investigate novel therapies in the earlier treatment setting. By identifying the key opportunities and understanding and acknowledging the potential challenges to this paradigm shift, we can propose strategies and recommendations to support earlier investigation in the earlier metastatic treatment setting. These areas include designing clinical trials and being able to assess clinical benefit in these trials, obtaining the evidence needed to support and initiating a clinical trial in the early metastatic treatment setting, and how to develop a comprehensive development plan for initiating investigation earlier. 
Friends of Cancer Research has convened a multi-stakeholder group of experts, including the FDA, drug sponsors, patient advocates, and academic clinicians to identify these challenges, key opportunities, and outline strategies for accelerating the investigation of new therapies in the earlier treatment setting. Specifically, we plan to propose a framework for determining when it is appropriate to accelerate the investigation of novel therapies in the earlier treatment setting, as well as identify the critical components of a comprehensive development strategy package to support accelerated clinical development and regulatory approvals. At the annual meeting, we will be reviewing the group's findings and discussions and look ahead towards implementation and next steps for this paradigm. At the annual meeting, we will have a panel discussion with those listed here, including the following panelists. We look forward to a lively discussion with our panelists as well as the audience to identify our next steps and move forward on operationalizing the ideas and objectives of Project Frontrunner for patients.